Jesus was watching. Jesus was watching. The choosing uh, official choir has uh, responded to all the online dragging and uh, talking to them and they are consigning their apron and how they hold this they are choosing strong. Well, one of the crazy things I witnessed is how very important this matter was to people. It is it, 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 important to but how very important it was to all those celebrities who were finding it the need for them to come out to talk about uh, the choosing and everything. And what we notice is that when it comes to national development né, and uh, national protests, all those food, all those things, eh, majority of all those celebrities are usually mute. But our cop, they were so interested in this choosing matter. Even Daniel Rega said. Notice how many celebrities are quick to react to the choosing trade that kept the conversation going. But if, when it comes to serious issues that need their voice or platform, they stay silent like they are off social media. You know, choosing church. Now, church may know they bite now. Now, church may know they bite. I'm not in support of any of all those uh, 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 A-Prom, A-Prom and the Miracle Jibri show. Let me get that straight. I am not one bit in support of any of all those crazy stuff you are start. But I'm just saying, why be like say we are so quick. All those celebrities, no, Nigerians uh, should do it because uh, they, they are not to blame, so they are just reacting. But uh, all those celebrities said, I think they rem should remain quiet because some of them are already saying, oh, this one is making a mockery of the Christianity, C-A-N, uh, Christian Association of Nigeria should be petitioned and all those crazy stuff. Come on, man. We have so many other issues that are facing us in this country. So let us focus on that. Eh? You people should focus on that. We can focus on everything at the same time. You understand? You people should focus on the food scarcity, focus on the fuel prices, and also focus on so many, many other things. There is this video of uh, the lost choosing member who was uh, who had, who was involved in a very serious accident, and the town God is alive and well. And after people saw this video, they say, "Siana, if this guy decide to come to church tomorrow now go to give a testimony, they will say the guy they lie. <laughs> if the guy decide to come to church, come give testimony tomorrow about uh, how a lion safeguarded him, an angel immediately came into the bus and covered him." They will talk say in the lie. They will talk say in the lie. No angel come and everything. I, according to them, but like I've said before, I believe in miracle. I believe in miracle. I strongly believe in miracle. I don't know the shape of miracle. I don't know how it, it is. But there have been miracles in my life. Severally, with the miracle that I am aware of and the one that I'm not even aware of. You understand? The ones that I'm, I'm aware of and the ones that I'm not even aware of. There have been so many miracles in my life. You understand? So many miracles in my life. But I do not know the shape. I do not know if he has a lion head. 
I do not know if uh, he, he has bulletproof. I don't know if I if I will be shot at and there, there's my body is uh, bulletproof. I do not know about that. You know, I've never experienced such before. So, well, it's not as if I'm praying to be anywhere close to that kind of uh, situation, though. So they say, party boy, you remember the pastor made that guy go slap? Hmm? They say that choosing pastor not party boy go slap. The Lord's choosing pastor, now you carry your hand, go slap. After Potable saw all the miracles, this choosing pastor has been received so far. The guy had no choice eh, to immediately go find that Lord choosing pastor, knelt down, invited him back to that bar, and apologized. And meanwhile, even that pastor, I'm, I'm still going to go back to that. Even that pastor said, eh, he has issued a warning, I've said it before. He has issued a spiritual warning and legal warning. He said, you people should be mindful of what you guys are saying. You guys are not showing the true picture of all those testimony. That you you are you are risking yourself. You are risking yourself against a spiritual battle. You are risking yourself against legal battle. So it's either it's going to take spiritual battle upon you or take legal battle. But I have advice. Okay, leave the legal battle because you're not going to win now. But let's focus on the spiritual battle. You understand? I've always encouraged these uh, pastors to fight spiritually. You know? Focus on the spiritual battle through the one and only God. Who focus on that. So, with that being said, let's now go back to this guy, uh, uh, Porrible. You know, I recall when Porrible, when the pastor entered a bar, he said the Lord's choosing, uh, uh, Stena. Make you enter that bar, may you go preach, and Portable wasn't having it. Before you know it, Portable started throwing slap. Crazy slap. Wutu, 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 the wutu, the guy. Well, after that whole incident, we saw a lot of uh, pastors who were threatening him and said they were going to deal with him for doing such thing. But guess what? Portable discovered that that pastor is a lost chosen pastor. So portable go slap Lord's choosing pastor. <laughs> portable go slap choosing pastor. Immediately, eh, portable had to invite this guy back. Invite him back to that place to apologize to him. Because he did it on media now. He took phone and was uh, recording himself doing what he was doing. So there was a need for him to also do it, to apologize openly, not just secret apology, also recorded apologizing. That guy now confirm of money. I don't know why you now be forced to call Jesus Christ. <laughs> now confirm ritual uh, uh, tradition is. <laughs> that guy just a carry cross for head. Well, lie. I don't believe what he. But if he is mocking God, he's mocking himself though. Maybe he's truly, really, really sorry. But. <laughs> That guy that cruises is just the catch. I swear, I can vow. <laughs> I will lie, I can vow that guy that cruises is just the catch. But then again, he has apologized though. 
Whatever you want to think about it, that is entirely for you. But uh, he has done the needful. Apologize for what he did. And uh, I think uh, you guys can uh, clearly forgive him now. Eh? I'm going to forgive him now. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to just overlook, overlook him. Forgive him and uh, overlook his uh, shortcoming. To all the pastors who have been threatening him, at least you see him crying and begging now. He actually cried, I swear. I know things in that cry, that go through that tears be that though. But just forgive him, forgive his sake. Because you do not know his mind. Maybe he actually cried, was actually sorry for what he did. But then again, for me, na crow crow that tears, brother. <laughs> na crow crow that tears. But forgive him though. Forgive him, forgive him, forgive him. You are blessed, portable. You are blessed.